Steven. Is that Bennett? What's going on? So good to see you. Good to see you too. Get to chit chat with your dear old dog this morning. The family I heard afraid. we're going back to back Bennett's here. I'm sorry to hear that. How about that? <laughs> it's a family business. It, it turns yeah, it turns out it is. Uh, it's in the blood. I want to get this out of the way, Stephen. I've been stalking you since I was 10 years old. I've been just the biggest fan of Third Eye Blind my whole life. My favorite. I've seen you guys live more than any other band. Uh, wow. You've just been so incredible. Uh, and so thank you. This is an honor. This is amazing. What? Can, thank you for saying that. Can I ask you what what brings you what makes you go back? Do you know what makes you go back? You don't have to know the answer. I mean, it's obviously it's obviously a feeling. Mm. You feel some way. It's a feeling. Third Eye Blind shows. Yes. Uh, first, what what brought me in first were the words, right? The lyrics. Always, right? And that stayed true throughout your whole discography. I've always felt that way. Your your words really just capture me. But it's the feeling at these shows. It's a sense of community. And early on uh, in my teenage years, it was it brought me closer to my siblings, right? I'd always go with my sister, my brother. Uh -huh. We always had that in common, right? Now, as I'm older, and I, I'm now in Philadelphia, right? A little bit farther away from my family. But my wife and I, when we see Third Eye Blinds on the on the schedule, we're going. No matter what's happening in our lives, like we're seeing Third Eye Blind. And now my wife and I kind of have that special, you know, connection during your shows. It's just something special. Well, thank you very much. It's really nice. Like, how do you craft a set list to kind of make it always kind of new and, and fresh? I just go from feeling like, how do I want to feel? How do you want to feel? How do you want things to grow? What's, what is, what's the mood? And it's not some just, um, it's not just one. Joy has many different components to it. Um, uh, we're not a party band. We never have been. Mm. We're that's like, not anything that's ever interested me. There's, there's a, there's more of like a, a totality of feeling that's, um, that's important um, to me. This that that feels compelling to me that I'm trying to uh, develop. So I, I just kind of see it. What gives you this sense of 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 collective feeling, connection uh, with each other? Uh, warmth. Um, that's what I'm looking for, mm. and it always changes. And what what makes you inspired? What 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 brings um, um, energy and surprise and delight? Um, um, not being tricked. I hate that shit. I don't like tricky. I think tricky. But um, what what makes it so? Like things are kind of unfolding. Um, that always changes. Always changes. And I spoke mm -hmm. about the uh, the words that kind of drew me in first to throw up line and really just keeps me there. Like, I mean, I could recite my favorite lyrics all day long from never been so alone, never been so, you know, so alive. Uh, I'm on a train, but there's no one at the helm. Like, I can go on and on. Do you have a favorite lyric of yours? The police high beams froze her perfect face in white glove for a while. The Politburo's on high alert. Your name showed up on file. I don't really know how I wrote that song. I don't know where that whole, that whole, to to have kind of downloaded that whole imagery uh, yeah. was really something. Um, uh, I took my blade and I cut him deep and the blood blew bread on his crisp white shirt for your party guests to see. Probably more recently, I think Dust Storm. In that song, I encapsulated how what my experience of uh, the lockdown and COVID was, mm -hmm. um, uh, the sense of isolation and the anxiety, but also um, how how much uh, how much I came to like really value relationships um, mm -hmm. at that time. Um, all those things kind of came together. For yeah. sure. Uh, the Summer Gods Tour. So you're stopping by July 12th, Freedom Mortgage Pavilion, Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. Um, 
you know, I've seen you so many times here in the Philadelphia area. Camden is pretty much Philly. Do you have any special Philadelphia moments? I love it. I love being in Philadelphia. I love walking around and, and um, I like walkable cities. Um, Philadelphia, um, Philadelphia is the planned community um, <laughs> from the 17th century. And uh, they really did a great job. They really pulled it off. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be rolling around. Um, and, um, I just feel like, I don't know, we, we get a, a special response there. So we definitely are more lifted, um, uh, when we play there than, than some, uh, than usual, I think. Um, on this tour, we're going to do an acoustic section. I've, I've absolutely vowed that I will have new music. So I'm going to have new music. Ooh. And, um, um, We'll do a section where we strip out all the amps, um, just bring in acoustic guitars, mandolins, you know, hippie drums, and kind of re try to re re image um, songs. Um, so there'll be um, um, there'll be all kinds of different stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, that's so much fun! Hey, I hope I get to see you again. Yeah, little, I mean, little Kira at the at the show. Yeah. Absolutely. We're all going to be there unless you, you know, put your restraining order in on us. Uh, we'll be there. Thanks for having me this morning. I really, really enjoyed it. I, I really love talking family. to you. Yes, absolutely. You got my dad and me in the same morning. I mean, come on. What could be better? Amazing. See you okay, yes. man. I'll see Peace you in July. Thanks, Stephen.